I'm Sam, and this is some Amazing Travels. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to explore a gem in America's heartland, Wichita, Kansas. Nicknamed the air capital, Wichita is the largest city in the state of Kansas, and what I think is the perfect combination of big city offerings and small town convenience. Just think, friendly people, no traffic, free parking, even in downtown, all the big name restaurants and box stores you can list. But the thing that made me fall in love with the city is how much Wichitans love local. The city boasts countless local businesses, restaurants, shops, art spaces, events, and the community is the first to support. If you love Wichita or forgot to pick up your souvenir, make sure to check out my city-related merch in my shop. There will be more cities coming soon. Now, let's get to it. What are the top things to do in Wichita? Number one, visit the city's iconic landmark, the Keeper of the Plains. A pedestrian bridge leads you to the plaza where the Keeper stands over 70 feet above the convergence of the Arkansas and Little Arkansas rivers. Yeah, in Kansas, it's pronounced Arkansas. The Keeper, a steel structure, was created by Wichita and Native American artist Black Bear Bozen. It pays tribute to the region's indigenous people and is a symbol of unity, strength, and respect for Native American heritage in the city. Don't miss the Ring of Fire ceremony, which takes place every night after sunset. During this 15-minute spectacle, flaming torches are lit and the Ring of Fire is created, casting a warm glow around the sculpture. Number two, wind your way through the heart of the city on Wichita's Riverwalk. This charming urban oasis spans several miles, offering scenic views and recreational activities. It's the perfect place for a stroll or a bike ride. And for those who want to get a different perspective, you can rent paddle boards or kayaks from Boats and Bikes and get up close and personal with the river. Other than the Keeper of the Plains, some key places you should check out along the river are Veterans Memorial Park and Riverfront Stadium. As you explore the Riverwalk, I challenge you to find the Wichita Troll, a hidden sculpture and well-kept local secret. During the day, passerbys usually walk right by or over it without noticing. Only at night can you see a dim green light illuminating the seven foot tall creature. Number three, explore downtown Wichita and its mix of contemporary architecture and historical buildings. Something very cool happening within downtown is the repurposing of historic buildings to fit into modern life. Like this 1950s parking garage turned apartment building, or this former bank built in 1926 turned upscale hotel. You'll notice many buildings have been repurposed while maintaining their historic charm. So wind up and down the streets and take it all in. You'll also be able to get a breath of fresh air in downtown's parks and green spaces. If you're just coming from roaming downtown on Douglas Avenue, you'll run right into number four on your itinerary, Old Town. Vibrant and historic, some buildings date back to the 1800s, and the cobblestone streets will lead you through the district's lively atmosphere. Old Town has everything. Local restaurants, breweries, shops, art galleries, theaters, bars, and clubs. So make sure to check it out during the day and come back for the nightlife. Also, traveler's tip, on Saturdays, Old Town Square hosts a farmer's market with vendors selling local products from the city and its surrounding rural areas. Definitely worth waking up early and checking out. Number five, another must-see, is the Delano District. Also dating back to the 1800s, Delano is now a trendy neighborhood just west of downtown. It has more of a bohemian vibe and it's known for its eclectic mix of boutiques, coffee shops, eateries, and artisan goods. Traveler's tip, when you're exploring Delano, downtown, and Old Town, there's a free bus line called the Q Line, provided by the city, which easily gets you from place to place. The stops are clearly marked, and the buses run about every 15 minutes. Number six, visit Wichita's museums. First up, to learn about the city's very early beginnings, don't miss out on Old Cowtown Museum. This living history museum takes you back in time to the Old West. Step into the late 1800s and experience life in a bustling cow town, complete with authentic buildings, costume interpreters, and live demonstrations. Another must-see is the Kansas Aviation Museum. In the early 20th century, Wichita emerged as the air capital of the world due to its pivotal role in aviation. 
Companies like Boeing and Learjet established their headquarters in the city, and Wichita became a key player in the aerospace industry. Learn all about it at the museum. Plus, you get the chance to stand right next to actual historic aircrafts. A super fun fact about this place is that it's housed by the beautiful Art Deco building that served as Wichita's first airport. Next up, if you have a big imagination and endless curiosity, go to Exploration Place. This science and discovery museum is perfect for those traveling with kids. It offers immersive and interactive displays and is set on the picturesque Arkansas River. Other popular museums and attractions include the Wichita Art Museum, which boasts a collection of American art ranging from paintings to sculptures from various periods and styles, the Sedgwick County Zoo, with over 3,000 animals, this is another great place for kids during your trip. Botanica, the Wichita Gardens, spread across 17 acres. This botanical garden is beautifully landscaped with diverse plant collections. These are just a handful of the great museums you can visit while you're in Wichita. Pro tip for those who are interested, pick up an Explore card from the Visit Wichita office to get reduced admission prices at a bunch of these attractions. Number seven. From FC Wichita soccer to ice hockey at Interest Bank Arena, Wichita has plenty for sports fans, but one experience you cannot miss is going to a Wichita Wind Surge baseball game. The Surge is a minor league baseball team affiliated with the Minnesota Twins. They play at Riverfront Stadium, which just opened to the public in April of 2021. Expect a great vibe at the game, full of excitement and energy. Highly recommend going if you're there in season. Before moving on, I wanna talk about Wichita's entrepreneurial spirit. I mean, this city is the birthplace of some big names like Pizza Hut and White Castle Burgers. It feels like locals are constantly coming up with new businesses unique to the city. You can see a lot of this represented in Delano, downtown and Old Town, but the city also has these unique shops elsewhere. Your number eight is a twofer of sorts. For very local vibes, go spend some time at both Clifton Square and Revolution. And keep in mind, this is just scratching the surface of all the local businesses in the area. Clifton Square is a shopping and dining village located in the heart of Wichita's historic College Hill neighborhood. Revolution, on the other hand, has a very contemporary feel. It was built from repurposed shipping containers and offers boutique shops, eateries, and a central outdoor courtyard. Continuing with this entrepreneurial theme, number nine, the brewery scene in Wichita is spectacular and a must add to your itinerary if you're a beer lover like me. The city has nearly a dozen breweries with all local roots and open tap rooms. From traditional pilsners to sours to stouts, you'll find something or many things you like. These brewers get creative and the beer is delicious. Do not miss out. Number 10, Wichita has a thriving arts and cultural scene. You'd be missing out if you don't enjoy it. While in town, check out some vibrant local theater. Numerous theaters put on main stage productions throughout the year, including classic plays, contemporary dramas, musicals, comedies, and original works. The city is also a hotbed for live music. I mean, it's everywhere at performance venues, of course, but also at many restaurants, bars, and breweries. Make sure you catch a show. There you go, the top things to do in Wichita, Kansas. I do recommend you spend three to four days in the city to really be able to crush this itinerary and not have to rush things. But if you have just a weekend, trust me, you'll be able to see a lot. For sake of ease, I recommend having a car to get around the city, but if you plan on staying in the downtown area, you'll see that you can reach a lot of these things by foot. Just make sure you bring comfortable walking shoes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts or questions in the comment section. If you're a Wichita local, please let us know what you love about your city right here in the comments. Remember to check out city related merch and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications for other travel guides across the globe like this one. Now get out of here and go explore.